there are some 68 million people who have been displaced globally, Nancy. And you have to remember, of course, that the budget for the UNHCR, over $77 billion, it's difficult even still to meet the demands of all of those people. And of course, that means that other international donors and NGOs have to be involved to really meet not just the daily needs of these Syrian refugees right here in Jordan, but also, of course, the global refugees. I had the chance to catch up with the director general of Saudi's uh, humanitarian efforts right here in Jordan, just to talk to him a little bit about what they're doing specifically because there are so many international donors, as I mentioned. There are European donors, of course, there are NGOs. There are also folks from the Gulf, the Emirates, Saudi Arabia, really trying to make a difference in the lives of these refugees. Let's listen in to what he had to say. It's really alarming. If you ask me what is number one challenge for humanitarian actors, I will tell you uh, funding because uh, uh, there is uh, actually scaling back of the funding and actually the humanitarian needs are increasing globally as we can see in the region and outside the region. So we're hoping all actually humanitarian actors uh, to work together to uh, increase the impact of what they do, uh, to coordinate, to avoid duplication and to use the maximum uh, of uh, the funding that they have. When you see something like the United States deciding um, not to continue funding the Palestinians, does that worry you? By all means, uh, I think it worries uh, uh, all the humanitarian actors. And uh, we hope also uh, that the uh, uh, U.S. will revisit uh, uh, their standing on, on, on funding humanitarian needs. But also other players should uh, act together to ensure that the uh, humanitarian needs in, in Palestine are not forgotten. I think uh, there are children, there are women who are in highest needs. Uh, there are uh, ongoing educational programs that should not be forgotten. And that's why uh, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia has stepped uh, in and uh, pledged 200 million US dollars this year to support the Palestine uh, uh, and on Orwa to ensure that there are programs that uh, don't get interrupted. Now, the UNHCR does say that they urgently need some $270 million just to see the folks living inside Jordan, the Syrian refugees spread across Jordan, see them through the rest of 2018. And I did push back there on the Saudi director general. I said, listen, a lot of people would wonder about how you can square the fact that there is a humanitarian crisis as a result of the Yemeni-Saudi conflict with the fact that you're spending in other areas. And he pushed back on me and said, hey, listen, we've given about $2 billion uh, to the stabilization of that country in just the last year alone, certainly in terms of the central bank and in terms of the fact that we support, even in the Houthi areas, he told me, uh, the refugee situation there. So nothing in this region, Nancy, of course, is ever really black and white, but certainly there are five million Syrian refugees, as I mentioned, spread across Europe, Turkey, Lebanon, and Jordan, and they all need help. So a lot of questions about where they're going to find that funding. And as I say, the fight for funding is ongoing. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.